Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another hotfix video. And today we got a few hotfixes, not too many, but nonetheless, we're still gonna cover them anyways. To apply your hotfixes, make sure you're playing online and sit at the main menu for a few seconds. Then you will see a sign pop up behind your character saying hotfixes are applied. Once you do see that, you are good to go. So it is the end of the co-op loot drop event. That means your tougher enemies in the game won't be dropping legendaries almost every kill. And replacement for today, there is the supercharged crystals event. What that is, is in the Guardian Takedown, the crystals will no longer deplete. So if you step off the charging pad for one of your crystals, it will not deplete at all. That means the crystal cannot deplete and, you know, blow up and wipe you out. This event does start today on January 14th, and it will end one week from now on January 21st. Now, besides the mini event, we did get five item buffs, so let's go ahead and cover those. First off, Zane's Tech Spur class mod. So with this class mod, when you get a kill, your Sentinel has a chance to cool down, but the chance was only 15% per kill. It has now been buffed to 35% per kill instead. In my opinion, this class mod is still pretty bad, and I hope it does get another buff. It doesn't offer good skills on the class mod, and you can counter the Sentinel cooldown with, you know, Seeing Dead or your Good Misfortune skill. Up next, the Meme Gun. Yeah, we've been talking about this for a while. The DNA. This is a Mayhem 6 Plus exclusive drop from General Trant, and since it came out, it's been one of the worst SMGs in the game. They went all out with this one, so they increased the weapon damage, the mag size, the fire rate, the projectile speed, and the reload speed. Is it now Mayhem exclusive worthy? I'm not sure yet, I will have to test it out. Then we had the Ripper, they increased the weapon damage on that. Yeah, before this weapon was still pretty bad after the last buff it got, but hopefully it's better now. We'll have to see on that one too. Oh, by the way guys, as soon as we figure out all the buffed amounts, I will pin it as a comment down below. So you guys will be able to see how much it was buffed. Up next, the SF Force. This is an SMG from the Guns 11 Tentacles DLC, and right here it says they buffed the weapon damage on that too, cool. Before, it was pretty bad. And finally, another one of the meme guns got a buff, and that is the Malik's Bane. They increased the damage on that too. Okay, no joke, I kinda wish they didn't because it was kinda funny to see it as a meme gun. You know, you would joke around and send it to your friends in the mail, but heck, maybe now it got the lob treatment and is really, really good now. Oh, looks like that's the end of the list. Yeah, like I said, not a whole lot of hotfixes, so hopefully there's a big patch coming. Um, if you do get any news on that, I will let you guys know ASAP. But anyways, that's it for the hotfix notes. Let me know below in the comments what your favorite one is. For me, I'm pretty curious about the DNA. Uh, this is a Mayhem exclusive weapon, so is it gonna feel like one? I'll have to try it out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that would be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.